Well, family stress, domestic violence, and other crises can create a dangerous environment for children. But a question here, what if there was a temporary safe haven for children to stay while their parents and their guardians worked out their issues. San Antonio leaders are exploring the idea of creating a crisis nursery so that families can stay together. We know that domestic violence affects a lot of people in San Antonio. But what if there was a place where a child could be protected from that family trauma, a haven for a few days? They're called crisis nurseries, but San Antonio doesn't have one, not yet. A crisis nursery is somewhere where a child can be left uh, while a parent is going through a situation that is maybe emotionally charged at the moment. For example, the Child Crisis Center of El Paso has the respite care program that provides parents a few days of child care at no cost. It gives you three days to just relax, enjoy some time for yourself, and when you pick them up, hopefully you'll be a better parent. Once everything is back in order at home, parents pick up their kids without the need to get Child Protective Services involved. It's a program some in San Antonio City Council would like to explore. Any intervention for as long as you can offer it is going to help these families. Natalie Leake, CEO of the Providence House in Cleveland, runs one of the oldest crisis nurseries in the nation. If we can work to keep kids safe and work to keep the families together. Overall, not only are the families and the children better off, our communities are better off. Their 30-bed campus serves over 300 children a year. She estimates they save the county around $10 million a year in foster care costs. The nonprofit says it also offers long-term support so families create stability. Their only challenge, funding. We all face this crisis nurseries is there's very little public system support for these services, even though they save so much. And the crisis nursery is different from a children's shelter because parents would voluntarily drop off or pick up their children once their crisis is over. Right now, council members Adriana Rocha Garcia and Manny Pelaez have asked the staff to do some research on whether this might be something San Antonio could establish.